You know, people often ask, it's a countdown to the Jewish New Year. We commence already shofar blowing in this Hebrew month of Elul. What sort of attitude should I take? What should my approach be? What resolutions ought I to undertake? Here's a little help and guidance. Actually, it comes from my own father of blessed memory who said to me once, Yitzchak, don't hesitate to ask God for anything and everything you want because there's no shortage in his treasuries, as it were, up above. You know, there was an anti-Semitic inspector who once came to the home of a Jewish farmer, and he says, I'm here to investigate, as I have reason to believe that there is some unscrupulous activity happening here, going on in your fields. Don't you, Jew, be giving me a hard time at all. I have full authority to inspect. And the Jewish farmer shrugs nonchalantly and says, do as you wish. I'll only suggest, whatever you do, don't be going to that farm behind my house. And the inspector is incredulous and he pulls out his badge and he shoves it into the face of the Jewish farmer and he says, you see this Jew? Do you know what this says? This says I have authority to go where I want. This badge enables me to inspect where I want. Don't you be telling me where I should and shouldn't be going. And with that, he proceeded to march very deliberately to that farm right behind the actual house. Not two minutes later, there's this loud, piercing scream, and this inspector is running towards the fence with a bull raging towards him, and he's yelling, help me, help me, it's gonna kill me. And the farmer yells back and says, show him your badge. The road ahead may be filled with challenges, be they material, spiritual, physical, or emotional, be they personal, communal, or even global. We have to rise to those challenges, and the only way to do so is by wearing our badge of Jewish identity with pride. When life's trials come charging towards you like a raging bull, don't shirk in the face of it, don't run from it, show it. Your badge of divine courage, of devout faith, of spiritual fortitude. And those perceived problems, they will be little more than a passing phase from which you will emerge triumphant. The point being that sometimes when you feel you've pretty much tried everything and you feel you have no resources left, just turn your attention heavenward. Be confident to wave your badge of honor, as it were, before God and say, do you know who I am? I am the son of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am the daughter of Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, all of whom you promised to look after and to bring salvation. Be bold and wave your badge before God and declare, do you know who I am? I am a Jew who, despite all the trials and tribulations of our history, all the threats and the impediments of our tumultuous past, all the challenges and obstacles you might be putting currently in my personal way, despite all of that, I am a Jew and I'm proud and I'll sing it aloud because forever that's what I'll be. And dear God, you owe me. And with that kind of attitude, yes, maybe a little bit of Jewish chutzpah, be assured that God will put paid to all the raging bulls and whatever other concerns hovering over us, filling our lives with an abundance of goodness and giving us indeed all a truly good and sweet new year filled with all of our blessings in abundance. Shabbat Shalom.